Hey everyone, it's Hayes and in today's video we're going to be ranking, well it's technically the season 5 Akuma villain outfits, however looking at this list we have a Senti monster in here, I put Gabriel in here since there is no Akuma villain really in episode 1 or episode 3, I also added a Miraculized in even though they're not technically Akumatized, there's not one for every episode for example like um Tomoe gets Akumatized in Multiplication, but then again in Pretension, so there's not one for every single episode. But um, yeah, we're going to be ranking their outfits, or for some of them more of their appearance, because it's less of an outfit. And of course, as always, this is all going to be my own opinion. It's totally fine if you disagree with me, that is fine, and I made this tier list. So I will link it below for you, so you can maybe do it at the same time as me, do it afterwards, see what your opinion is. It is totally okay. If you do not agree with me, don't even worry about it, besties. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the tier list I made. As you can see, these are all the villains. There aren't 26 of them, though, because of there just wasn't, you know, an Akumatized person every single episode this season, and that's totally fine. So we've got five tiers. We've got stunning the best outfits. Then we got nice, middle is like, you know, could be better. Four is giveaway, like I said, giveaway the outfit, I wouldn't wear it. And the other one is just garbage. Throw it in the bin, we're not having it. So like I said, some of these, like for the Senti Monster, um, I can't really rank it as an outfit because it's not technically an outfit, but we're gonna try our best, okay? But we're gonna start off with what in my opinion are the best two like villain outfits from the season. And one of them is Chloe's outfit. Oh my gosh, from Revolution. Chloe, absolutely stunning. I'd wear that every day of the week, especially if I was Matt. Oh my God, you could not stop me from wearing that. And my other favorite outfit, I'm not sure if this one, like I keep going back and forth between which one is my favorite, but uh, it's Lila's hoaxer outfit. Oh my gosh, it is quite similar to Volpina, but I'm like, I'm not mad though because it's just so stunning. However, speaking of which, maybe this is slightly hypocritical, but I really disliked Kim's outfit in Derision. It was it was too similar to Dark Cupid. I was just like, mm, no. It was just like, no, no. Like Lila's, yeah, it was similar, but she looked flawless. Kim, no. I wish they do something different with Kim's Akuma design. Like, other characters have been Akumatized multiple times, and not always, but a lot of them do get more than one Akuma outfit. Um, apparently not for Kim, they just get the same outfit with like a different rebrand to it. Speaking of which though, Julika. I can't remember if I ever actually like Reflector's design. So I've done this like three other times. I did one for season one, season two, and season four. I still haven't done this one for season three. <laughs> It's ages since I rewatched them all. Um, so I can't remember what I actually last said about Julika. Do I like Reflector's design? I wouldn't wear it. I'll stick it in, could be better, because it could be better. Now, one Akuma outfit that I hate with a vengeance. I'm so sorry, Miss Bustier, but it's you. I also hated my outfit for that video. I felt I looked like a tube of toothpaste, and so does she. Toothpaste Akuma villain. I understand it was, you know, Bastille Day themed, Revolu French Revolution themed, French flag colours. I get it, I get the theming, but she still looked like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> I understand what they were going for, but she looked like toothpaste, not like a French thing. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't have any suggestions on how to fix it. I just don't like it, okay? And I hated how I looked in the video too, because I also look like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> I remember <laughs> talking to one of my mods, I was like asking for advice and I was like, what colour show I have for this episode so I know, you know if I need to get anything extra, like oh, I've kind of managed what I got and they were like French flag and I was like, I don't have anything French flag themed. So then they were like, do you have anything blue and white and then wear red lipstick and I was like, red and blue don't usually go together and they were like, you'll be fine. I look like toothpaste. <laughs> I mean, I think I pulled it off but I still look like toothpaste. Uh, anyway, <laughs> one outfit I really liked as well was Sabrina's outfit. Now, I know she was invisible, but as someone with anxiety, actually, I'm gonna stick you in the top category. I know she's invisible, but you know, like, I I'd like to be invisible sometimes. I think it would be a real advantage in many situations. So I loved it, although it was very difficult getting a picture for that, and I was like, she is invisible. <laughs> 
what am I gonna do? So I picked the one, I don't know if you can quite see, it's one with the flowers on, in adoration where the flowers get blown to her. So yeah. Another outfit I really liked as well is Mr. Damocles outfit. But like I said, I don't remember what I said in my season two ranking, but I really like it and also I just like the dark cow because it's kind of like Batman-esque. So I love his outfit. And another outfit I really like, of course, Queen Natalie. She looked absolutely amazing as Safari, this kind of Tomb Raider since she's well, I was about to say since she's alive. I think she's fine now. I don't know. She didn't say anything after... She didn't say anything at all in episode 26 this year because she kind of half died in 25. To me in 25 she wasn't dead but she was like very near the brink of death. Like as close to death as you possibly can be without dying. <laughs> So she doesn't actually say anything in the final episode, so I'm hoping next season, assuming that is Emily with her in 26, we find out a bit more about like her past, her history as this treasure hunter. I'm so intrigued to find out more. Like Natalie, she's just the absolute best and she looked amazing in this outfit. Now for a slightly controversial opinion, I think Monarch Daddy's first design is pretty good. I made a whole video about it, it's definitely not my favourite outfit ever. However, like I think, he's not actually on here, I didn't bother adding him, but I think the Monarch Daddy we get the rest of the season. I love his outfit because he actually does look quite frightening. Like he's all very dark purple and blacks and then those bright piercing eyes actually makes him look kind of threatening for once, like a proper villain, you know what I mean? The rest of the time I'm like, what are you wearing? <laughs> he looks like a proper villain. However, with this one, I really liked the stained glass look because it kind of represented how fractured his mind was becoming. I really like that aspect to it. I know not everyone agrees, and don't get me wrong, it's not the best outfit I've ever seen in the show or just ever, <laughs> but I really, really liked what it represented. Another one that I think could be a little better is Bob's outfit, and I'm like, yeah, I understand, called Golden Record. I get it, I get it, but I'm like, it was a bit plain, a little bit boring, so, you know, you know. And the same again, I guess, with uh, Chloe Zakuma from Deflagration. I liked it and I loved the power with the singing shoes. That was hilarious. But like, it was just Soul Crusher again, but this time Chloe's version, so. Eh, eh. Another one I'm not particularly fond of is Tomoe Zakuma. It's just like a centaur. It's weird, I've never liked that Akuma. Can we please stop doing that Akuma? I don't like it. Although that being said, I did really like the use of like, um, the scent ability they used with the rooster. I thought that was a really cool idea. I've just noticed I probably have makeup all over my hands, don't I? I always do when I film, so I've, like I immediately do my makeup and then I start filming. Oh, good one, Hazel, doesn't it? <laughs> now, another outfit, Veronique's outfit from Determination. I love this, obviously, like, she works at a wax museum. She has the wax on her shoulders, like, the candle in her hair. And I love, kind of, like, I don't know the correct words for it, but, like, the old-style feel for her outfit with, like, the... I'm gonna say the poofy pants, but I don't know if that's the right word. Do you know what I mean? Like, the kind of poof out. <laughs> it kind of looks like quite old-fashioned clothing, but I absolutely loved it. I wouldn't wear it personally, so maybe it should be in the row below, but I'm like, I think it was stunning and just completely on point with the theming of the episode that it just has to go in there. So, um, and another one I guess um, is fine, <laughs> is the red moon from Emotion. Like, yeah, you, you do what you say on the tin, mate. Felix said you were a red moon and here we have a red moon. <laughs> well done. Another one for that category as well is Kagami's form from um, Perfection. 100% understand when you have Kagami there wanting you know, to wander around the city and pretend no one else is there. It's what I do all the time whenever I go into town for supervision, stick my headphones in, pretend no one is there. It's great. I love wandering around cities when it's so quiet. Like I remember we were in Paris for the premiere we arrived on Friday and it was like midday so it was already super mega busy when we got to Paris and then all day Saturday was super duper busy but because of the time the premiere was starting and the time like you're allowed to queue from it was quite early plus it was a Sunday anyway so people don't usually get up super early anyway in uh, most European countries on a Sunday even if you're not religious because a lot of places don't open until like 10 or 11 a.m. most people don't bother getting out of bed. Sunday's usually the day for a lion in European countries. Um, so because of that there was like no one around when we came out of the hotel to get to the premiere it was 
lovely. Like it was the only time we were there that Paris was quiet. It was so nice. It was beautiful. Like we came out the same time with the hotel on the previous morning on Saturday and it was already packed. So yeah, <laughs> Sunday <laughs> makes all the difference. Early morning Sundays in Paris. Lovely, I love quiet cities, they're the best. So, another one, who should we do next? Um, I actually, I'm gonna put in the same category as well, Ada's um, Akuma design. I thought it was great, and actually for once, Gabriel Baby thought about it, because he's like, she's a robot, she's not gonna be able to grab the earrings or the ring if I give her like massive robot hands, because not gonna be able to grab such small things. So he gave her these tiny little, like, crab pincer thingies, which is a problem we have with Glaciator, who I'm gonna put in could be better, because he has to come out of the Akuma outfit in elation to try and get Cat Noir's ring. So you know, Gabriel Babes with Ada was big brain time for him, although saying that. Um, his collector outfit from Illusion, they seem to keep tweaking the collector every time it happens, and now his glasses are see-through, and it's going to give me nightmares. Just, mm, no. Thank you. And also in giveaway, I'm gonna put the Miraculized outfit. I understand that there was gonna be a lot of them. They wanted to go for something simple. I get that. But for the final, like, not quite Akuma villains, but for like the final showdown with the rest of the kids, I thought they maybe could have done something a bit scarier. I did like it that it was kind of Squid Game-esque with like the mask and like the shapes on them. But it was just a bit, eh. <laughs> in my opinion. Another one I'm not super fond of is Kagami's um, outfit. Oh god, what's she called? Riposte. <laughs> Can you tell how well I know the show? It's okay. I guess I'm really not fond of Akuma outfits that are monochromatic, as you can see, like she's mainly silver, then Chloe and Bob's are mainly gold, Julika's is mainly pink. I like them when they have a bit more detail to them, for example, like Chloe's, for example, like Natalie's. Although saying that Veronique's is pretty monochromatic with the yellow, but it has enough different shades to break it up and make it better. So whilst I understand, you know, Kagami's riposte outfit, the theming with the sword, I get it, but I'm just a bit like, a bit boring. I'm kinda sick of seeing it slightly now. <laughs> Get it together, Kagami, stop being a Kumatize. I guess she can't be now. Now she knows definitely that Marinette is Ladybug. Yeah, I think, oh God, I'm confused. <laughs> so another one I'm gonna put in could be better is Gabriel Babes' Nightmare Mentor outfit. Like, like Gabriel's outfits, they all kind of like, any outfit he wears rotates around the same sort of theming, which is basically, a variation of a suit and keeping his hair in the same way and also giving him a massive pair of glasses. Like, I understand like it echoes what he wears in real life, but it's like the same model just tweaked a bit every single time and I'm like, I don't know, they can't anymore since he's dead. But you know what I mean? Like, do something different here for him. Like, I know it hasn't fully been revealed yet and you see a glimpse of it in the trailer, but I'm hoping for the Reaver special for his like, I guess, the good version of the Butterfly Miraculous. I'm hoping that outfit brings something a bit new to Gabriel's wardrobe because you wear the same thing every single day. Get it together, Gabriel. <laughs> so annoying. Another one that I thought was meh, it was okay, is uh, Bibu's outfit. <laughs> is that how you say his name? From Transmission. It was fine. I did think it was kind of cute, like a bit like a teddy bear. But um, yeah, and, yeah let's, let's put it in nice. I wouldn't wear it, but I, I think it was nice. I think it was nice. I still think Adrian should have been akumatized in transmission personally, but okay. <laughs> and then finally we have the Pharaoh. Where shall I put you? I guess put you in nice as well. It's complete on theming with the episode for all the Egyptian stuff. Although to be fair, there wasn't as much. Like I feel like the theming went better for the original Pharaoh episode rather than for reunion specifically, but you know. It's a fine outfit. <laughs> so there you go besties, that was my Akuma Villain Outfits ranking tier list. I'll put the final one on the screen just so you can have a, another look at it. Of course, like I said, that was all my own opinion. As I always say, besties don't always agree with each other, but besties always respect each other's opinions. Whilst I think it may be possible, same with the ranking episodes, whilst I think it may be possible you may share some of my opinions, I doubt we're gonna agree 100% on everything I just said, so don't worry about it. And like I said, I'm gonna link it below so you can go and rank them all too. So I'd love to know what you think, besties, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.